the DC movie rumor mill has put out rumors about two new possible movies. And you may or may not have heard of this news. That Hawkman might get a movie, his own movie, that's in development. And that he's going to be maybe fighting or appearing in the Black Adam movie. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that's one. And the other rumor is that Dr. Fate might be getting his own movie. Which is interesting. Now, these are rumors... I'm not trying to act like this has been confirmed, and I think even this, you know, a lot of sites are saying that. So, you know, take these with a grain of salt. But apparently, you know, one rumor is that, you know, Hawkman, along with Stargirl and Atom Smasher, whom I think is also gone by the name of Nuke Line in other DC comic stories, you're going to show up in the Black Adam movie. I assume as antagonists or people trying to stop Black Adam, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And that, you know, they might be race-bending, you know, Hawkman to be someone of Middle Eastern descent. And they're want going to try to buff him up so that he can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, the race-bending actually makes sense for Hawkman because, you know, one of Hawk Hawkman's origin is that he's been reincarnated across time. And recently, in the new Hawkman comic, they have added across space. That's his most recent origin. Hawk Hawkman's had a gajillion origins of, in the past that have made the character really confusing for people, but they're trying to simplify it and streamline it now and find a way to put all the various Hawkman origins into one easy, you know, like, package. And I, I, I read the current Hawkman series, and I think that it works. But, you know, a lot of people know him in one of his versions or one of his past lives as an Egyptian king or ruler. And, you know, it would make sense if that's the case that they would cast someone who looks like an actual Egyptian, you know, someone of Middle Eastern or, you know, African descent to play that role. Um, and, you know, I, that would be cool. If, I mean, if they do cast someone as, um, cast someone of Middle Eastern descent, I'm sure they're going to incorporate that. But I hope they include, you know, all the other stuff. You know, that Hawkman has also been in space. You know, that being an Egyptian king is just one life of his. But, you know, he's also been a space cop, you know, from Thanagar and stuff. Because I think, you know, space is really awesome for Hawkman. And there's a way that you can do the Egyptian king and, you know, the space cop and other lives into one character. Because he's reincarnated across multiple, you know, lives, you know, on multiple planets. So that could totally work, and I think that would be cool. Now, the whole thing about Hawkman fighting um, Black Adam, you know, they want someone buffed out enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. They're going to have to give Hawkman a serious power upgrade, because in all the comics I've read with Hawkman in them, he's strong, but he's not that strong. Like, Hawkman's not the kind of person who, because of his raw physical strength, can fight, you know, like Superman or Black Adam, because Black Adam's as strong as Superman. And, you know, Hawkman, I don't think, has ever been someone who could, like, fight, you know, Superman or Black Adam or Wonder Woman or anyone in, like, a fist fight. At least not in any comic books I have read. He hasn't been that physically strong. I know the Nth Metal, Thanagarians, you know, the space planet, you know, Hawkman, he's supposed to be stronger than regular humans, but again, not that strong. But the Nth Metal is supposed to, I think, in some storylines, grant him, you know, greater physicality, physical, you know, abilities, because, you know, he's carrying, like, a big, you know, metal mace and huge metal wings and all this stuff, and someone of regular strength couldn't do it. So Hawkman is supposed to be stronger than regular people. So I guess maybe they could say in the movie that he is mystically able because of his weapons, his Nth Metal and his mace, that he can actually physically fight somebody like Black Adam. Because otherwise, I don't see how that's going to work. You know, Hawkman is not... Hawkman's not, you know, like the Incredible Hulk or anything. <laughs> like, he's tough, but he's not like, you know, I'm gonna lift up a car tough. At least not in the comics I've read, and I've read a lot of comic books where Hawkman's appeared. So, you know, if that rumor's true, how are they gonna make that work, you know? I mean, I'm open. I'd love to see Hawkman appear. I mean, he's a great character, but, you know, he was never someone I would have picked to fight against Black Adam on his own. So we'll see if that comes to pass. And also, you know, the other person is Dr. Fate. This is also a rumor that they're going to, like, cast Dr. Fate. It's not associated with the Black Adam movie from what I've read, but just what I've read, but that he might get his own movie, and they might race spin that character. And if they do, you know, I saw the rumor, I think we got this covered, that they might go with the Middle Eastern version of that character, Khalid Nasor, I think is how you say his name. He showed up around New 52, I think, is when his character debuted, or maybe a little bit earlier. Um, I've read him, um, and that could work, too. I mean, if they want to race spin the character, they could pick an ethnicity he's actually been in the comics. There's been many different people to be Dr. Fate. 
you know, to wear, wear the helmet of fate and be, you know, the DC's, one of DC's huge sorcerers. Um, but I bet you the most well-known person to have that helmet has been Kent Nelson, who is, you know, a white man. And also his wife, Enza Nelson, has also been um, Dr. Fate. And there's been other people, but Khalid Nassour is one too. So they might pick, they could pick that version if they want to race spin. And it'd be cool, you know, if Hawkman, I, I'm i okay with whatever they do. If they keep Hawkman, if, you know, Hawkman and Dr. Fate Caucasian or whatever, or if they race spin them. But if they race spin them to Middle Eastern people, that would be great because Middle Eastern people, I think, haven't yet had a major superhero live action on screen yet that I can think of in the current era. So this would be great for representation. I know that, you know, Marvel might introduce Miss Marvel Kamala Khan um, eventually, but they haven't done it yet. So if DC wants to beat Marvel to the punch when it comes to Middle Eastern, you know, Muslim representation, they can do it, I guess, if these Doctor Fate and Hawkman rumors are true. And I'm for it, you know. I'm open to whatever they do, but if they want to race bend those characters, I'm cool with that too. And it would make sense, you know, given what I've said about the characters' histories. You know, like, if Hawkman's going to be, you know, an Egyptian prince, he should maybe look, or king, he should look like an Egyptian, right? So, you know, I'm cool, although I don't really see, I don't know, it's going to take a lot of mental gymnastics to make Hawkman able to, like, knock Black Adam out with his bare fists. How are they going to manage that? <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. If it comes to pass, it is a rumor. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.